Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's and shits. It is I, the doctor, professor, philanthropist, gynecologist, veterinarian, burger denier, bacon extraordinaire, and bulldog connoisseur, back again to teach the young minds how to not be stupid on the internet. And in today's class, diversity. Everybody loves diversity. We love everybody being in a space. Everybody's included. Everything's fair. And everybody's taking part to make sure everything's equal, equitable and all these other peaceful buzzwords right wrong because you got some people trying so hard to make everything an issue that they seem to think once they spot something that they're not okay with or they think in their minds mm, it's time for me to strike and use my weird Twitter activism to bitch and moan about something that I have no information on I just want to bitch because I didn't get my Starbucks coffee it seems like these types of people always just keep getting dumber and I know it's confusing I know you read the title I know you see the thumbnail you're confused but just sit back let the professor show you how it's done and learn how to not be this damn dumb woke Arizona diversity activists falsely accused black DJ of wearing blackface two local diversity advocates in Arizona are taking heat after calling the school district racist for hiring a DJ to perform in blackface but it turns out the DJ was black Stuart Rodin and Jill Lawson, who specialize in diversity, equity, and inclusion, lambasted the Scottsdale Unified School District Hopi Elementary PTA for its decision to hire Kim Coco Hunter, who's 56, a local black DJ at a charity event. Both Rodin and Lawson, who are involved in diversity work in the school district, slammed the school after seeing a picture of Hunter only to learn later his race. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, Lee on here you go again being this evil bigoted human being and your all your internalized racism is shining right now and i'm gonna start calling you a coon here's a picture of the dj now i know it's hard to spot them because it's really hard to always spot these evil white supremacists wearing blackface but i assure you it's not that white guy it's not that white guy and it's not that other white guy it's the dude who is black looking like the obvious black guy in the picture so i am confused as to how anybody could look at a black man and say hey you're wearing blackface the dj that the hoopy pta hired was in fact a black man Hopi PTA President Megan Livingood, that's a great name, wrote in a response to Lawson in a message obtained by the outfit. It is insulting that you feel myself or PTA condone racist behavior or encourage it by posting on social media. According to the independent Lawson, a librarian responded by saying, you are right, we should have reached out and inquired before making such accusations. I cannot fathom the hurt, anger, and frustration you felt after you and others volunteered countless hours on your event. Again, I truly apologize. And honestly, it should have ended there. It's an honest mistake. You sat there and you accused somebody of hiring a white guy to turn blackface and offend all the young black minds who just want to get jiggy with it and dance at this charity event that they didn't want to be at. But you were so dumb, you had to throw an accusation at not just the DJ who's working hard spinning discs and getting funky with it. No, 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 no. You threw the accusation at the people who hired him and you looked dumb and they corrected you and you look like a fucking fool but at least you got called out and you apologize good on you I respect that I condone that and anybody else out there can learn from this dumbass white woman when you do something dumb like accusing a black person of doing blackface and you get called out don't fight it just admit you're dumb and apologize and go on however Everybody didn't have that same concept. Everybody doesn't know when to just own up to the fact that they are dumb and they don't know what they're talking about and all the weird activism diversity and all this weird other shit people like to do is dumb when you use it in a dumb context, AKA. But Rodin, who is an instructor at Arizona State University, did not appear particularly apologetic and posted a side-by-side -side image of Hunter on Facebook to try to show that the DJ darkened 
his face even if he is black. Let me be clear, a black man apparently in blackface is an entirely different discussion than a white person. However, it seems at the very least he is in darker makeup if not blackface or am I completely mistaken and it's the lighting of the patio. It is completely you being mistaken, you dumb, balding human being. And I don't know what you're thinking, if this individual, Lawson, is a white woman and she looks like the weird white woman who could possibly have blue hair and go around saying everybody's a fascist, oh, you would think that this man, Rodin, is a white man as well, trying to stick up for all the marginalized black people, right? Wrong. The dude is black. And it's just like, bro, you can't be so dumb to throw that type of accusation at a fellow black man. I thought we were all in this together. I thought we was riding with the 400 years. We all in chains. We all slaves. Even though you got a nice job as a professor at Arizona State or whatever it is you do at Arizona State and you sticking up for everybody, you can't be this dumb in any capacity. You especially can't be black and be this dumb and throw that type of accusation because it's a black man getting hired to do something that's honest work, a charity event, and you come along and say, hey, you darkened your skin more for a DJ appearance? And I feel as though it's blackface. Maybe I'm mistaken because I don't know how light works. Maybe everybody else is wearing blackface and I'm the only sweet, sexy, chocolate human being that exists, right? Wrong, because you are dumb. Rodin is a member of the district's equity and inclusion committee and Lawson is a co-chair of the Scottsdale Parent Council Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee. Both of these dumbasses are indeed dumb asses. You talk about inclusion, equity, diversity, everybody being equal, but you bitching about a black man in blackface. At least Lawson had the decency to say, you know what? I'm wrong, sorry, please invite me to the barbecue. I swear I'm not a racist. I know, I just thought it was bad because he took a picture with white people and I've been told white people are always the oppressors and I can't stand none of this. But this dude was really dying on a hill that, oh well, maybe he darkened his skin here, his skin looks lighter here. Doesn't know how pictures work. Don't know how lighting in pictures could affect your skin. It can make it lighter, it can make it darker. It can make you look like the sexiest black YouTuber in your dreams, but it don't roll like that. And it's just like, Bro, you can't be that damn dumb. And you know the icing on the cake? The dude that they accused, who is a black man, who was accused of putting on some blackface act for a bunch of kids at a charity event, he saw all of this and he said, was I not black enough? How black do I gotta be for people to know that I'm an actual black person? And that is stupid diversity equity type people. I understand you hard at work trying to fight for something. You want everybody to be included. You want everybody at the dinner table you want everybody to get a taste of something equal it's cool i understand that i'm not mad at that but please for the love of god if you're gonna bitch about something bitch about an actual fact because just going around saying people wearing blackface when all they got is this on their body is a damn shame but i do appreciate the laugh because it was well needed so class dismissed subscribe to the channel this has been the doctor philanthropist gynecologist veterinarian pet extraordinaire bulldog connoisseur, bacon extraordinaire, and burger denier teaching you how to not be stupid on social media. Goodbye. Do not talk about my team.